being disciplined <laughs> takes a lot of discipline. <laughs> Anyways, you better get in your bag. Let's go. Your bag. You better get in your bag. Your bag. You better get in your bag. Yeah. Your bag. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Rissa Dean, and I am back with another video, another Talk About It Tuesday. And this Talk About It Tuesday, the topic that we will be talking about is discipline. So if you are interested in this topic and you want to hear more about my thoughts about it and what we're going to talk about that has to do with discipline, then please continue to watch. Make sure that you comment down below. Make sure that you um, like this video and make sure that you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, girl, what you doing? Subscribe and hit the notification bell and continue to watch. <laughs> Why is discipline so hard? Why is it so hard to be disciplined? Can somebody answer that? Drop it down in the comments for me. Somebody answer that for me. Cause it's so hard. Like, but you know, maybe it's not hard for everybody, but the few people that's a little like me, it's hard. It's very, very difficult to stay disciplined. Um, like you can have however many goals the best goals written down the best way that make them achievable you know like have your game plan and then when it's time to actually do it that's the hard part but i am working on it y'all you know i'm i feel like i'm always coming on here saying that i'm working on something but i mean yeah i'm always working on me becoming a better me because duh like, okay, so when you think about the word discipline, you think about, oh, if I didn't do, if I didn't obey the rules, then I'm going to get a punishment. That's discipline. But self-discipline is also self-control. So it's when you are able to um, control your feelings, your actions, uh, you know, and, you know, self-discipline is when you do right, even when everything is wrong around you and it's easy to go left but you you do right you know what i'm saying like that's self-discipline when i talk about self-discipline i'm speaking on as far as my goals and different things that i want to get done and the different goals that i have for the year and i have to be disciplined to reach those goals so you know we talked about in the last video i want to um i want to gain five pounds you know, but I want to do it the healthy way. And I said that I wanted to cook more this year. So I have to be self-disciplined to do that. Because that's kind of, it ain't really that easy because it's easy to go to fast food restaurant and um, eat there. You know what I'm saying? But that's not, that's not in alignment with what my goals are. So why, why would I do that? That's not self-discipline. That is poor self-control so my top three ways to becoming more self-disciplined we're gonna all do these together number one would be to set clear goals that are achievable and we talked to, we talked about goals in my last video the plan with me video so y'all go check that video out and yes that's what i would say to do write down your goals for the month for the week and then a to-do list every night and work towards that every day um, my number two thing would be to know your weaknesses and then remove them so like i've said multiple times in this video my weakness is eating out going to fast food restaurants is like one of my weaknesses ice cream is a weakness and I can't be eating a whole bucket of ice cream and I'm trying to lose my stomach. Yeah, I might gain some, I might gain a little five pounds, but it's going to go to my stomach and I don't want that. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So remove those weaknesses and a way that I would do that is meal prep and eat it. When I meal prep it, eat it. I'm, I'm, that's really for me. That's so for me it might be for you too but that's so for me because i like i will meal prep and then be like i'm tired of eating this i don't want to eat this no more let me go to 
Zaxby's. Let me skirt skirt into Zaxby's. <laughs> Like for real, y'all. Oh my god. To become my number three thing that we are going to do to become more self-disciplined is don't be so hard on yourself. If you mess up, it's okay. If you go to Sonic and you get your Oreo McFlurry, it's okay. Do better the next day. It's really okay. Don't be so hard on yourself. And, you know, when you reach your goals, I don't know if I talked about this in the last video, but when you do reach different goals that you have set out for yourself, reward yourself. It's like when you're in school and you did, you made all A's, and what did they give you? They gave you, like, the little dominoes um, thing, and I think you got, like, cinnamon sticks, or, and then if you made A's and B's, you got cheese sticks. Like, when I was in elementary school, so do stuff like that because that's because stuff like that like used to push you like okay i'm gonna make some more a's so i can give me some cinnamon sticks because i've always loved those little cinnamon sticks that they have at domino's those are really really good but yeah so reward yourself you know what i'm saying that's that's a good thing to do reward yourself because it's gonna push you to want to continue to work hard at your goals when you reward yourself so Yes, I hope you guys like this video. Please comment down below any thoughts that you may have, any more input that you may want to give. And yes, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Follow me on all social media. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.